Hi guys, this is Madhuri Verma and today I'm here with another book summary. Today's world has a lot of opportunities for every one of us and almost everyone I encounter these days has a lot of stuff to take care of but don't seem to get things done. I need to plan that party, I want to record my next video, oh I also want to read that book, I need to organize my closet, a lot of things. But what if I tell you that without stress you can get all of these things done? David Allen is here to help you. Getting Things Done by David Allen is an amazing book on increasing your productivity without stressing your minds. No matter how organized we are, the core reason why we are not able to get things done is because we always call all of these things that need to be taken care of as stuff. This stuff has no definition at all. David Allen has laid out a core ideology which he calls as the C-Core ideology to help us increase our productivity and tick those things off the list. The first C of C core stands for capture. Well, everything that is bothering you, everything that's ringing a bell in your mind is occupying some space in your mind, in your brain and is not letting you concentrate and is not letting you have your creativity flow. So what you need to do is capture everything that is ringing your bell, everything that is on your mind, bothering you or you need to take care of. For example, it could be as simple as planning a party two days later or it could be as complex as acquiring a company for an acquisition and merger. Whatever it is, just put all of it out on the table, every single thing that is bothering you. You could, if you don't want to physically move things from your house uh, into your view, all you can simply do is take a piece of paper, write that thing down which is bothering you and put it in the tray. What David Allen calls it is the in tray. You remember in the old offices there used to be these, these two desks at the corners of the table where one used to be the in tray where secretaries of the people used to come and put the files down for checking and then people used to pull papers out of it, take care of it and then put it in the out tray. So we need to put every single thing that is on our mind into our in basket. The next C of C core stands for clarify. Once you have captured all of those things into your entry, it's time to take that entry and pick out every single thing that is there and whatever you pick out doesn't go back into the entry. All you need to do is take care of it right there and then. The first step towards clarification is understanding what does it mean to you. And what will its definition of done be? For example, let's say that the task that you have picked out from the entry is to plan a party two days later. So the definition of done for planning the party will be when the party is over. The next thing to do is identify whether that task is actionable. For example, planning a party is an actionable task. So then what you need to do is identify the very next physical action required to progress on that task. So for planning a party, you might want to think of a venue. Okay. You also need to ensure whether that venue is available for the time of your party. So for the task plan a party, the very next physical action would be call up the venue to check for availability. Now this next action is actually going to take us less than two minutes to do. So what David Allen suggests is that whenever any next physical action of any of your tasks is going to take less than two minutes to do then do it right away but if it is not going to take less than two minutes then either delegate it which means have someone else take care of it in which case you might want to maintain a waiting for list and we'll learn more about this in the later part of the video or the second thing that you could do is defer it. Now when you are deferring it, it could either be for a specific date in the future when you know that you might want to pick that task up or you could just keep it as a next action item to be picked up as and when you have time or as soon as you can. But let's say the task that you have picked up is actually not actionable. For example, some old magazines that you found in one of the drawers. Let's say those magazines are not important anymore or you would not want to read in the future. So you can simply trash it. 
or if you want to read it sometime in the future so you can put it into a someday or a maybe list wherein if you are free one day and if you feel like reading the magazines you will already have the stack with you or if the magazine contains certain uh, suggestions which you might want to pick up in the future for example certain recipes that you might want to follow or certain travel places that you might want to uh, refer to for visiting so you can put it in your reference stack what happens when you write down this next physical action is that nothing probably moves forward in the physical world but you gain a little bit of clarity focus and peace of mind got the idea but this can work only when the kind of actions that we need to do are let's say limited what about major projects that need to be taken care of for example if you want to remodel your kitchen or you want to buy a certain property it is a project which is probably going to take more than one physical actions to be done with so what you can do is take care of the next physical action and every time that physical action is done you can write down the very next physical action to be taken care of after the first physical action so the projects will kind of run in a loop identifying the next physical action every time until the project is done so now we are done capturing everything we are done clarifying everything that have that was there in our entry what we need to do is act on all of these physical actions and that's the central idea of the c core ideology which is o organize what david allen suggests is that you could make separate lists for the next actions that you need to do for example a lot of physical actions might be to all of people so what you could do is make a calls list and write down the names of the people you need to call and also their number next to it okay what will happen because of this is that let's say you are commuting and you have that list handy and you have your phone with you all you can do is pick up the calls list and the name and the number will be right there so you won't even have to make the effort of finding the number of the person that makes us efficient same thing can be done for other things and other tasks that need to be taken care of at certain different places for example if if i had to research certain points for my project which is to buy a new car and my next physical action was to research about the latest cars the research can only be done when i have access to internet so I i might make an add computers list and add research about cars over there so whenever i'm on a computer and i have the bandwidth i'll just pick up my add computers list and i'll see what all things needed to be done when i was at when the computer was available to me those kind of things which require a certain resource to be available for us need to go in that particular resource list the second amazing idea that david allen gives for organizing is called a tickler system okay now a tickler system is something wherein you have 30 to 31 files for each day of the month and 12 separate files for each month of the year every time a month changes you just need to pick out the file at the front and put it at the back and then the very next day let's say it's 1st of march you will pick out the day one file which is which will be right behind the month of march file and in that file what you could do is that put in papers of let's say the meeting that was scheduled for that day or things that you needed to be reminded of on that day so for example my march 1st file could look like talk to boss about xyz call somebody for um, for wishing on their birthday so all of the things that needed to be taken care of on march 1st go into that file and when you pick that out in the morning you'll know everything that needs to be done that day i found this idea really revolutionizing and i think you should give it a go it's called the tickler system well now that you are done capturing clarifying what things mean to you you're done organizing how exactly can you get this system up and running and how exactly can you keep in touch with it that is where the r of the c core ideology comes into the picture it's called reflect this system needs a review of sorts for it to be up to date because let's face it if you're going to do this just once the system is not going to work you have to have it up and running and be updated as you go so that it remains current and it remains accessible and meaningful for you to take care of 
So, what David Allen suggests is that you can do weekly reviews for the things that needed to be done and just say, okay, this physical action was done, so tick, the next physical action was done, tick. That is how you move along and you move forward in your project. Then the next week when you review it, you wouldn't feel like, okay, I did not get all of these things done. You might feel a little bit of satisfaction that things have actually moved along the way and they have progressed. And before you know it, things will start getting done and it will all just be very easy for you to manage. Now that you have this system up and running, how do you actually decide what thing to do when? Let's say it's 9.22 a.m. on a Wednesday morning and you want to decide what task you can do now. How will you pick the items from the plethora of lists that you have created? This is where the E of C core will come to our rescue. It stands for engage. There are three ways in which you can decide what item to pick up on a particular time and date. The first way that you can do it is to identify the time and energy that will be required for the task to be done and whether you have that much time and energy available at that moment. For example, if I have to research about cars from my buy a car project and I have a meeting at 9.30 am, the research is not going to get done in the next 8 minutes. So I definitely don't have the time to get that done. But let's say I had to call somebody to wish for their birthday. That is something that can be taken care of in the next 8 minutes. The second way in which you can do it is by understanding the priority and importance of the tasks. Let's say you have a meeting with your boss in the evening and you need to finalize certain things before going into that meeting so that you can give the updates to your boss. Okay, so that thing is urgent and important for that day. So no matter how how much ever time and energy is available for you, you might want to pick that up and move a little bit forward along the agenda item. Because then even if you have a meeting at 9.30, once you get done with your meeting and come back to your desk before your meeting with your boss, you'll still know where you had left the task and where you need to pick up from. And that, my friends, is progress. You wouldn't have to spend an entire array of time together but just bits and pieces of it to move it along and before you know it it will be time for your meeting with the boss and you will be ready third way of picking a task is to understand whether it is even ready for you to pick it up if you remember i had told you during the clarifying stage that if you are deferring or delegating a task you are actually waiting for some input from somebody so it's not ready for you to pick up at this moment that is another thing that can be tracked in your organized list the waiting for list to track what are you waiting for and from whom now that you know about the secret ideology why not go ahead try capturing everything clarify what it means to you organize it reflect and keep it up to date and get engaged pick those tasks up and get things done if you want to understand how to get into this habit of keeping things up to date and how to form a habit of engaging with the secor ideology you might want to watch my previous book summary on atomic habits by james clear a classic book on how to build and sustain habits and the link is mentioned in the description box below I'll come back to you soon with another book summary but until then if you like this video please click on the like button and please click on subscribe the bell icon is right next to my channel name thank you for watching